Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a little quick review here on this little guy here that I purchased. Um, this printer was uh, being used for the interim because I didn't have a, a printer working. Now that my Delta printer is up and running, I don't need this anymore. But I did want to do a little review because um, I haven't heard much about this brand and I think this is a really awesome printer for beginners. And there's some really cool features in this printer that normally you don't see. So basically the first thing is the footprint of this printer. I know Creality did make an Ender 2, which was the same style as this. Um, I really like the smaller footprint uh, of this. It's really awesome for beginners and it's really awesome for kids and teenagers. Uh, they might not have a lot of desk space. And it's really neat, like you could even mount the power supply here um, on the floor or something like that and just have a really small footprint uh, printer here and be able to still use the printer in your room or whatever. So that's really neat. Um, a big standout for this printer, which you don't see on many printers, is direct drive. Um, so this does have a Titan direct drive extruder, which is very uncommon and... Of course, there's a pros and cons to direct drive versus Bowden for sure. However, I think especially for uh, a beginner, they can get way more out of this printer with a direct drive, uh, being they can try out flexibles, a TPU, NinjaFlex, that type of thing with this printer. So that's a pretty big benefit in my opinion. I also prefer um, doing filament changes on a direct drive printer versus a Bowden. With direct drive, you can basically just heat up the nozzle push the filament directly in and push it directly into the nozzle and you can see filament coming out. It's very, very easy to and quick, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's a much better experience, so that's really nice. So I really do appreciate uh, direct drive on, such a, on a printer that's so inexpensive. Uh, by the way, I purchased this from Amazon Canada for $250 Canadian. It does sell for $200 on uh, their US store. There, it was listed on Amazon's uh, store, but I haven't been able to see it in stock. So I don't know if you can just order the printer on AliExpress or just directly from um, King Rune. But uh, f yeah, for the price, uh, another benefit of this printer is the linear rails. Again, I I'm super shocked to see linear rails on a printer of this price range. Um, and I don't know why more printers don't use linear rails. Uh, they're much simpler than V-wheels. There's much less maintenance involved. And there's certainly, again, for a beginner, you don't have to worry about trying to tighten up the V-wheels with an eccentric nut and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of times those aren't even tight from the factory. So the fact that they put some effort in and put at least a linear rail on the X and Y is really, really cool. And I think that's a pretty awesome feature. Not only that, but... Linear rails have a standard mounting pattern, so you can adapt a lot of direct drive tool heads to this printer very, very easily. So that's pretty neat, and I would expect that the King Rune community can um, modify and adopt different tool heads for this printer. So you can use, you know, high flow hot ends, things like that, really, really easy. So it's, it's really nice to see linear rails on a, a printer in this price point. Another thing, too, is Magnetic build plate, like, I don't know why all printers don't have this. It, I prefer it much more to glass for sure. I do wish this was a spring steel sheet instead of uh, this kind of build tack kind of flexible. I, I do prefer a steel like PEI, maybe a smooth and a textured side would be, would be a, a nice upgrade for sure. I know King Rune do sell a spring steel a magnetic plate for this printer on AliExpress. So that's nice. Um, even the attention to detail here, like you can see they put in some little bit of uh, icons here so you can see your first layer height and just to help beginners out, it's a really, really neat feature. I really like that. But again, magnetic build surface uh, should be on all printers regardless of price. If they can do it at this price range, anyone can. So that's really nice. Um, the, even the bed leveling screws here, they're uh, a bright color, so they're easily uh, seen, and they're, they're a nice size. You can actually turn this with a regular size hand. Um, it's not little tiny screws 
or anything like that. So that's super neat. You don't need to 3D print out like a upgrade for your bed leveling screws or anything like that. So that's really nice. Another big uh, thing here, especially for beginners, is your Z offset screw here. Really, really easy and very, very simple. Just a simple spring-loaded screw that you can just adjust in little increments and test it out. Versus most of the time, you actually have to adjust your end stop up and down, which is two screws, and you're trying to you know, slide it up, screw it back on, then test it. Well, that's too high, lower it. It's much easier just to turn one little knob test it, turn it a little bit more, test it. It was super easy for me to dial in the actual first layer NZ offset with that one little tiny screw. It was perfect. So I do really appreciate that feature as well. This printer also does have a, a nice touch screen. It's perfectly functional. It's very uh, responsive and all you need for a printer like this. So that's really neat. I also do really like the spool holder here. I mean, I should say I like an external spool holder like that. I really don't like spool holders that attach to a printer. If you're printing very fast, you're just adding weight and vibration to the printer, so your spool's going to be flopping all over the place. It, In my opinion, your spool holder should always be external and be on a nice roller system like this. So that's, again, that's a really nice feature as well. I, I really do like that. Um, yeah, I wanted to just do a really quick rundown because I, I was really surprised at the price range for this printer and kind of the differences it has compared to some other common printers like Creality Ender 3s and that type of thing. Um, I did print out a couple uh, prints here. Nothing like special or anything like that. Just your standard calibration cube here in some silk uh, PLA printed out very, very nice. And then... I did print out kind of my go-to print here, the Cali Cat, which does showcase a lot of things that are important. Uh, part cooling, you can see this tail printed actually very well. You can see the underside of the head here printed very nicely as well. We can see here even stringing, uh, retraction's quite nice. This is the default um, uh, slicer profile in Kira, which did work out very well. I only had to make one change on my profile was the actual purge line right here wasn't far enough over. It actually was purging out here and I had to just go into the start G-code settings and actually change it from I think 2 to 10 just to make it go over a little bit more. And I'll put the starting G-code in the description if you want to edit. Um, if you have this printer, you purchase this printer, you can use my start G-code so that it'll fix that little issue there. But yeah, this is a um, really neat printer. Uh, again, this is the King Rune KP3S. They do have another version, which is just the KP3 that doesn't have direct drive. So uh, in my opinion, it would be uh, the direct drive one is the one you want. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I did want to just quickly thank every all the new subscribers. We're like seven away from 200, which is really, really awesome. I'm, I'm super shocked. Um, stay tuned for on the channel. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up and um, feel free to comment and uh, definitely like and share. Thanks everyone.